Hello, welcome back to the UFO news for June 2023. So uh, we have a lot of news this month and the month is uh, soon over. It has uh, gone by very fast. So it's a lot of things happening in the UFO community and in the agendas and groups surrounding this phenomena and uh, technology and uh, we will start with an introduction and uh, have made myself some uh, papers here so I can kind of keep track on <laughs> what I'm going to say trying to do it a little bit more professional so um, first we have the UAP National Press Club, 12th of June with Stephen Greer and uh, it was very informative, it was three hours and you should check it out support Stephen Greer and his uh, work and uh, there's a lot of whistleblowers coming out now and uh, many of these have a quite a big story to tell and here is a snippet from that National Press Club the 12th of June. That presidents, CI directors, and secretaries of defense, and members of the Congress who have a need to know and are clear TSSCI in SCIFs, secure compartmented information facilities, have been blatantly either gaslit, denied access. That is the foundation of everything we've done, is that these projects are a priori illegal and therefore unconstitutional and have to be reined in because not doing so is a threat to the national security. So here is your list. I'm not going to go through 145 sites. Some of them are black sites. Some of them are bases you know about, like Wright-Patterson, Edwards, Nellis, Area 51, so-called. But all of them are based on witness testimony and intelligence we've gathered over the last 30 years, and it's time for it to be disclosed. And so now you have it. Next. Here's one. Number two on our uh, UFO news of June 2023 is uh, the whistleblower David Grush coming forward, which has worked for the UAP uh, disclosure movement and also is an intelligent officer in the National Spatial Agency. I think that's what it's called. And he has come out and said that the US government have bodies of aliens and alien crafts, which they have been gathering now for over 80 years. This has, of course, we have been into this on both channelings and other stuff. And uh, enjoy this uh, small video from the interview. He's filed this whistleblower complaint. He says that experience is why he decided to go public here and in a recent article written by Leslie Kane in the debrief. You're not being paid for this interview? No, I'm not. Why are you doing this? It's a sense of service, you know? Call me a Boy Scout or, or whatever. It's just a, when I saw the kind of wrongdoing I did, I don't want to be 60, 70 years old in the future and uh, have that, you know, coulda, shoulda, woulda kind of uh, feeling where I, I could have made a difference. I do not want to live a life in, of regret. You are saying to the human race for the first time an official intelligence representative at a high level from the US government is saying publicly, we are not alone. We're definitely not alone. Absolutely, the data points empirically that we're not alone, yeah. You've said that we have, the United States has spacecraft, intact craft. We do. Do we have bodies? Do we have species of well, well, naturally, um, when you recover something that's either landed or crashed, um, sometimes you encounter um, dead pilots. And uh, believe it or not, as, fan as fantastical as that sounds, it's true. Have you seen spacecraft? 
I've seen some interesting photos and I've read some very interesting reports. But, he says, the specific documents and photos that would prove his claims are still classified and he cannot disclose them here. Let's deal with the issue of your credibility. Mm -hmm. Number three is the NASA UAP meeting conference. And the NASA gathered some of their staff and uh, had a meeting about UFOs and UAPs. Here is a video from that meeting. Range of, of what's possible and what has been observed. Okay, and then on the next slide, the one where you've got the, Orb. where is the meatball moving across the, the screen? Right, that one. Um, so, was there any look at sensor artifact, data processing artifact? Um, I mean, the first thing that, whenever I say anything that's anomalous, I look at how was the data collected. Yeah. So yes, these are these are. Um, so this is an EO sensor on an MQ9, and we understand that very very well. That is that is a real object. Absolutely. And, and we're So we're looking at uh, a number of different capabilities that span, I think, a lot of what you've just said. So we've got, uh, we haven't applied it yet. We are researching how we're going to apply it. So natural language processing for the reports from pilots, absolutely, right? Uh, target recognition, so I can train a model to look for that thing and go back through all of our holdings and go, have, give me how many of these you have. Um, and then try to figure out what those are. Right? Um, so I have not put anything out there yet or have not looked at anything yet for... Number four, in the news of June 2023, is that my book of light is soon finished and I have some uh, cleanup to do, getting rid of typos and uh, adding an introduction and stuff, and uh, it will soon be up over 200 pages with informative pictures and texts and a lot of love and light and it's an interesting read if you want to raise your frequency and add a little bit dimension to your awakening, a little bit of spiritual uh, dimension and a little bit of love, you know, we all need love love is the most important and we can only do this with love you know peace and love and then we can go out into the star system then we can go out into space you know peacefully and meet this these extraterrestrial races and most of them are friendly though maybe there are some gangsters also it's okay there are gangsters on this planet too so but we all have to find a way together you know we are all in the on the same planet you know so i guess we have to include everyone if we're going to change something and move on. And uh, number five is uh, the James Webb news. We have three pictures which you have picked out. The first picture is of the Orion bar forming star system protoplanetary disk. These web images show a part of the Orion Nebula known as the Orion Bar. The largest image on the left is from Webb's NERCAM, Near Infrared Camera Instrument. At upper right, the telescope is focused on a smaller area using Webb's MIRI Mid Infrared Instrument. At the very center of the MIRI area is a young star system with a protoplanetary disk named D203506. Uh, the pullout at the bottom right displays a combined NERCOM and MIRI image of this young system. So you see this small 
star with a planetary disk around it. Kind of interesting, you know. Kind of how they can zoom into, you know, one star being, you know, developed or born, you could say. The picture number two is uh, NASA Webb Space Telescope appears behind bars. This image of the Barrett Spiral Galaxy NGC 5068 is a composite from two of the James Webb Space Telescope's instruments, MIRI and NERCAM. So uh, enjoy this kind of kind of looking behind the the dust and gas into the peering into the galaxy. Kind of interesting, you know. You know the, the universe is huge, and uh, <laughs> can we really? Uh, measure it you know is it infinite I think it is so but there is a structure there you know which we can come back to and visit and see but you know the light as they have calculated does move in a limited way so maybe what we see might not be there anymore so I don't know how that works you know it's kind of physics out of my league but you, you can speculate you can of course speculate of how this works, you know. So maybe it's something which we see on the James Webb Telescope, kind of billions of light years uh, away. Kind of, maybe it's not there anymore, so maybe the, maybe there's something else there, you know, because, you know, the light travels at a limited speed. So, and uh, picture number three is... Uh, of uh, galaxies. Early universe crackled with bursts of star formation. Webb shows this different image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope was taken for the James Webb uh, Telescope Advanced Deep Extraterrestrial Extra Galactic Survey or JADES program. It shows a portion of an area of the sky known as Goods South, which has been well studied by the Hubble Telescope and other observatories. More than 45,000 galaxies are visible here. You know, it's a huge number, but you know there are trillions of galaxies. So, at least what we know of. So, <laughs> it's it's a kind of a, you know small number, but I guess you could use some lifetimes to go finding out what uh, 45,000 galaxies uh, uh, is uh, built up of, you know. And now they even seem that every galaxy has its own physical laws. Uh, so that you can, you know, wrap your mind about, around, you know. Maybe that explains why these UFOs and extraterrestrials uh, can do stuff like we can't do uh, so because you, you can speculate about that. So that's very interesting, though. Know. Maybe they come with, come from uh, galaxies with other physics and other rules, and other metals, you know, and uh, other technologies. So you know, kind of maybe that's one of the reasons why we are scratching our head and wondering, you know, what the hell are we dealing with, you know? So that's a theory. And we have. Six is oldest but goldest again. Enjoy this. This is uh, one picture from a story in Canada, and there's nine pictures from a story in the United States of America from 1978. And uh, very interesting pictures. Enjoy!
Number seven is a UFO video, a short one, you know, taken in the United States of America in uh, June 2003. Here it is. Eight, it's a channeling and uh, kind of gotten some uh, draconian influences. They want to be on the show, they want to say something. So it's not going to be very long. I think it's going to introduce with the uh, Om, and then we are. It seems like Om is connected with Rattle, or they're kind of talking together. So let's see what gets out. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to this show again. I am Draconian Um Ambassador, Rebel Guide. So, you are in your disclosure times. Everything is starting to crumble and everything is starting to raise in frequency. So automatically information has to come out and progress and evolution has to go forward to another level. And your people on the higher estates know this to some extent. There are resistance, of course, but there will be unity and understanding that this has to come out for humanity to develop and unite and also to bring out some of the new technologies which demands a higher consciousness of your people. Because your groups have gathered so many different technologies but they can't really understand all of them that do wish to have quicker teleportation they do wish to have quicker reaction and to some extent they are kind of loosening up and understanding that they can only have these technologies if they use their heart and their consciousness so there has to be a progress there and a uniting of hearts. Thank you. This is how it is done most of the times and uh, you are tipping towards the positive side and uh, leaving the darkness or that yet does to some degree behind. That is good. I will not go into so very much more and uh, there is a process going on and it will go on now for a time. It is exciting. It's exciting for us which are positive and benevolent. All of the races have power groups, all of the races have agendas and all of the races which are starting we know of thousands. We have tune it down to hundreds which we are friends with 
and there are oh maybe 30 40 which have interests or base interests in humanity many are visitors or travelers which come from different times dimensions universes and of course other galaxies we don't know everyone and it is maybe impossible to know all of them maybe on a very heightened state of awareness you can uh, gather these informations and uh, we are entering from fifth to sixth so we are gathering information very fast and you will also when you reach these levels there's a lot of attentions a lot of attentions for this channeling We are using this one as a diplo diplomatic hub because he is kind of neutral and he wants, you know, he wants the peace as some of us also want. So it is, he is protected. It is very important information and it's a pioneer baseline for how your humanity will set up your communication with extraterrestrials and also an opening for those which wish to channel and develop their creativity and powers and spiritual awakening sides so he is something which you can follow a blueprint for that but of course be careful be careful what you wish for He now wants a little bit more quality and uh, a little bit less quantity, and it's okay. We are going to introduce to you our pirate agenda friend, which we have contact with, and uh, he has something to say from his perspective. Ah. ah, yes, welcome back to the show. Now we have our group and our agenda has gathered over 500 different spacecraft. It's quite some collection. All the detainees we have sent back to their home planet. We do not wish to harm anyone, although we will show resistance and pirating if we have to. But uh, we do always avoid, try to avoid the hurting of the people on board ships. We are not going to delay this process. We have our own agendas and messages here. We see that humanity is waking up, and that is beautiful. And we see that you are gathering information. And we will say to you, good luck on your journeys towards us. Disclosure. Thank you. <sighs> Fuck, man. Oh, shit. Oh, my tears are running. Oh, my God. That got too intense, you know. Wow. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Fuck, man.